myself Pooja Soni. In this part, we are going to design our entire page. Now let's design this current page according to our demo page. So, look here, I had added one line previously of style sheet with reference style.css in folder CSS. So let's create one folder named CSS and in that folder let's create one file and save it as style.css. Now for demo purpose I am giving background color in our body that is pink. Now let's check whether the link is working perfectly or not and refresh. You can see the link is working very properly. Now I am going to show you one very quick and effective method for styling purpose that is on the browser right click go to inspect element then sources here on this navigator it contains all the files and folders used in this page with a proper path. So in CSS let's go to style.css and let's start styling. First let's make a reset function that is padding 0 reset code sorry and margin 0. Font size to be small. Now first we are going to design our header and footer. So header with a background color RGB 128, 175, 191 width is to 100% color is to white bottom is to 3 pixel solid green height is to auto now let's design our h1 tag of header that is header h1 it's text transform to be uppercase and let's position this text at the center that is text align is to center then text shadow is to 2 pixel 2 pixel green now margin is to 15 pixel As browser took default positioning of header, so let's give top is to 0. Even then the position is same, so let's give overflow property that is overflow is to hidden. So that it will work perfectly now. Same for a footer. It contains all this content. Control C and here control V. So, here instead of top I will require bottom overflow property is not required background color is this only and uh, color border bottom is not bordered bottom we will require border top height is to auto text align is to right And most important position is to fixed so that it will take a perfect position of bottom is to zero. Now let's style p tag of footer that is font size is to 15 pixel. Text transform is to uppercase. Then padding is to 2 pixel from top 10 pixel from right 2 pixel from bottom and 0 pixel from left 
that is top right bottom left which is in clockwise direction now copy and paste this code to our original document now we need to design a container which have tabs and forms so here let's give a class as a tab for styling purpose you can see the selected form tab has different color so we will put one more tab class inside the tab class that is select and for here sign up class so we had added two classes in one class that is tab and select tab and sign up here there's a spelling mistake okay now let's design container which has width to be 35 percent highs to auto margin from top is five percent Let's bring it to the middle position that is margin right is to auto and margin left is to auto. Background color is same. Border radius is 20 pixel and box shadow is this one with opacity 0.7. Now let's design tab box inside the container whose width will be 100 percent because it will take containers width height will be 40 pixel and border bottom will be 1 pixel solid white now design the particular tabs of the tab box which is displays to block width is to 50 percent height is to 40 pixel and line height is also equal to you can notice the height of uh, tab box and tab both we have seen text align is to center and top left radius and top right radius is 20 pixel and text transform is to uppercase now a tag of the tab box that is float left text decoration non color is black okay now select element have the background color to be white you can see I had given this top left radius, top right radius due to that this had happened. Now our tab boxes were ready. Now let's design form. So form there is label. Let's give it displays to block for them. Padding 3 pixel. Text transform uppercase. and color is to white Only one form is visible at a time so let's disable sign up box form that is display is to none now let's design text field that is this one ok border radius 5 pixel 25 pixel and worth 80 percent Display is to block, padding is to 10 pixel, border radius is to 7 pixel, background color is to white, color is to black. font size is to 50 cell. margin is to 
टेन पिक्सल जीरो पिक्सल जीरो पिक्सल फिफ्टीन पिक्सल यू कैन एडजस्ट इट एट अकॉर्डिंग टू योर बॉक्स शेडो जीरो पिक्सल जीरो पिक्सल फाइव पिक्सल वाइट कलर नाउ लेट्स गिव पैडिंग टू होल बॉक्स ऑफ साइन इन बॉक्स दैट इज पैडिंग इज टू फिफ्टीन पिक्सल एंड मार्जिन इज टू थर्टी पिक्सल जीरो पिक्सल जीरो पिक्सल एंड थर्टी पिक्सल Let's put padding in sign up box. So, here I am accomplishing my part up series. I hope I had cleared your concept. And if you have any doubt regarding this tutorial, feel free to ask in the comment box below. And if you dislike something, please mention in the comment box below. I will surely try to improvise my faults. And yes, to continue learning, like, comment, and subscribe.